Welcome, everybody, to the final chapters of our RimWorld space-based adventures. So, yesterday, just to recap very quickly, uh, we finished the research tree. Somebody, very annoyed about that, not entirely sure who, but they decided to bomb our base. As a result, I've spent a little bit of time so far today rebuilding, uh, basically getting things done pretty much. I'm actually recording this way earlier than I normally would. It's just because I've stumbled across something big that I feel like means I have to kind of start now. But you'll see that in a second. So what have I done in, in kind of the stopgap here between where we left off, you know, a, a kind of bombed out base or a relatively bombed out base. We did, we did a pretty good job for survival. I'm being very careful about where I position the camera here. Um, I've already started on some wacky shit. Um... Well, first things first, I actually upgraded almost all of our people. Uh, so I basically went through and I thought, you know what, now's a really good time to fix missing limbs, you know, shot out eyes, give Hocus back some brain power. So I've gone through and I've upgraded everybody with not just replacement limbs and fixing scars and scratches and whatnot. I've taken it a step further and I've actually installed kind of your generic royalty bonus bionics. So coagulators, healing enhancers, aesthetic shapers, love enhancers, noses, to make them all like each other, to make them more beautiful and more attractive to one another. Then they're going to hopefully stop fighting so much. Um, and I've installed those in absolutely everybody besides Dr. Don and Mondo, who only got a couple of them just because they're the doctors. Um, and, you know, there's no real easy way to micromanage an entire colony like that, short of just not giving the doctors the stuff as well. So I'll do that in a second. We'll get those guys upgraded too. Um, that's absolutely everybody. There's one exception. That was Ciala, who's missing or who's eyes are have cataphracts so we'll go ahead and get those swapped out i mean to be fair they are 70 uh so that's pretty reasonable so we go ahead and get those just replaced with the regular bionics ones i didn't want to get too mired in the uh in the prosthetics mod along with that i tidied up the base pretty significantly here um you know, remove the wind turbine field, because that's a bit unnecessary when we got reactor pumping out 1.8 million watts. Um, kind of rebuilt, tidied up a lot of the power cables, removed all the thermal conduits, the shields, and whatever else I kind of put in place to defend from the, um, to defend from the, from the kind of artillery storm that we had coming in there. And done a lot of rebalancing too, like swapping around some crops and just general base crap. Along with that, uh, I started work on a new ascended Arco Matter Pudding? What the hell just pudding? Get out of here. Uh, on a new Ascended Arcomata farm as well, because of course we are going to need a shitload of that. Progress is very slow. Each Arcomata combiner does take 100,000 minus um, a power of 10 there, because apparently I can't read 10,000 uh, Arcomata per combiner. So we've made a grand total of 12. <laughs> <laughs> to fill an entire room out the, the way we filled this room out, it's going to take a staggering amount of time. Like a crazy amount of time. So, uh, there there was an update released recently. I believe this was a change that Stormy added kind of um, mid my playthrough. Um, and that was adding the old recipe back to the Arco Hive Mine, if I'm remembering correctly. So, this actually allows us to create Arco Matter from Arco Algae and also forge Ascended Arco Matter from regular Arco Matter 2. Um, now, in the long term, it will be more beneficial rather than forging 8,500 Arco Matter into 10 Ascended Arco Matter. It would be better to pr produce the combiner and then just wait because obviously that'll pay itself off not only immediately but much better in the long term as well. Uh, what I did know is that this recipe is very, very good. This one here. Um, specifically when you have a disgusting amount of raw Agamato algae. This entire series, literally since we first set these things up, you might remember me saying like episode 2 or 3 or whatever, we're probably going to need this in the future, let's grow it now. For the whole series, we've been growing Arcomata algae to the extent that we have 168,000 of the stuff. So, as a result, when combined with the with, with this one here, we can churn out a shitload of Arco Matter. Not a massive amount of Arco Matter, but it'll really help speed up the, the, the process. See, there's 250 right there. It really helps speed up the process for producing more of these. So we're going to turn all of our Arco algae into Arco Matter, then all of our Arco Matter into Arco Ascended Arco Matter Combiners, and by extent, we're turning algae into a spaceship, which I think goes quite nicely with the catch-up engines. With that, we did actually have a mechanoid raid, but that was about the only thing of note that's really happening. Let's go to the history tab a second. Um, does it even say? Enemy raid, ship combat. Yeah, that's basically all it says there. And there's the apocalypse storm right at the end of yesterday. Um, so I haven't really been playing for that long by comparison to some of these crazy jumps. Like, obviously, this is where we're building the original Joris. This is where we put down the Archimatic Combiners, and I put put the difficulty on pause there for that section, because otherwise, you know, we'd have spent bloody ages building that one up. Um, and then, yeah, we've, we've got quite lucky with the uh, with the raids, actually. Just boring old mechanoids. I imagine we've still got some of the corpses in the... Uh, let's take a look here. Mecha... What, what, what they were they like? Flamebots um, and Scullywags. 
So really nothing relevant. And one thing I did forget to do, I had to rebuild a little bit of this. Um, the auto mods, of course, just immediately fired and took them out and took a giant chunk off the side of the base there as if more artillery was, uh, was something we needed. So I'm going to go ahead and disable the robots because honestly, we don't need them again right now. We might as well go ahead and disable them and uninstall them, speed the game up a little bit and give Seattle a chance to basically just sit there now. And because of this, Seattle can sit there and just churn out a staggering amount of Arco matter. Ooh. Oh, well, Ciala just got their new eyes, uh, which I thought was appropriate given that we're setting them to work basically forever. Um, we're having a party, a hospital party, except for Senpai. You're not invited. We're having a hospital party to, I guess, celebrate Ciala's sight coming back, which you've got to admit is fairly impressive given that Ciala crafted all of these bionics, all of these armor sets, and all of the Arco matter whilst essentially being functionally blind. Um, I guess depending on the severity of the cataracts there, that's, that's pretty impressive. Did I call them cataphracts earlier? Having armored Byzantine cavalry in your eyes would probably also lead to blindness. So either way, it's a, it's a hell of a step up. Look at these people. Look at these people. Having having their lo lovely times with one another. This is, an, this is a hospital orgy. Given all the aesthetic shapers and the love enhancers. Oh, God. What the hell have we done? This is supposed to be a sterile environment. Yes. Optimize further. Never stop. Algae on demand. Going through the system. Immediately dropping into the IO port. This is fantastic. We'll have this Arco matter place done, well, maybe in like two to six business weeks, to be honest. <laughs> Even at this speed, it's going to take a staggering amount of time. Bread and I've cut it down quite heavily too. So we've only got however many that is. I can't see because it's calf. Um, even that, I mean, what have we got here? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven per row. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen rows. That's like... 98 or something like that rows of of 10,000 Arco Matter. That's a lot of Arco Matter. That's a ridiculous amount of Arco Matter. We're not going to have enough algae for that. Oh, shit. I forgot about that as well. So I actually queued up guns for everybody. Um, Because I figured we're towards the end game, right? So we need to probably get everyone upgraded. I didn't know what the hell to build. They all seem to have various different costs and various different effects. So I just queued up basically two of everything. Um, And they're actually done. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice that. My bad. Um... You know what we need? We need a rec room for a start. We've been going all this time without any proper bloody recreation, which is my bad. Um, okay. Well, this this time I could plan it a bit better, right? We were kind of throwing recreation in as the room built up. So I'm going to put the TV. Put the TV right there. And let's put a uh, lovely piano. Perfect. A little bit of a uh, little bit of roulette table. Uh, there you go. That's absolutely fine. Darts board. This is all going to be... Oh, Ascended Arco Mattered Billiards table, though. Oh, I don't know if I'm that brave. Uh, fuck it, why not? It's 80. Oh my god, we don't have enough for that. And this has been running basically for the last, I don't know, two hours? Shit. Can I commit to that? Maybe when we've got a ship down and stuff, huh? What called Arco Matter something or other? Let's go into... Ah, uh, oh, there you go. Oh, hello. Um, so sex weapon. Uh, second channel for that. Cleanse your spirit. Cleanse your spirit. Arco matter explosives. Huh. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll take a look at that at some point. Oh, there's also ascended arco matter shit. Oh, no. Did I just waste a lot of time and effort making that with this new workbench that I just haven't noticed? Uh, yep. There. Four guineas. What a, what a shit. Well, let's put that there then. That's my bad. Completely, completely my fault. Okay. Uh, never mind. Take all those apart. We'll start again. <laughs> 150 ascended arco matter shit and these things are still the fastest way to go about making arco matter huh oh hello god damn these are expensive um I'm, i feel like it's a time for version two of the original joris vessel spinal capacitors and spinal amplifiers but arco matter versions Ooh, that could be something to be fair we got 19 of the things 19 putting out five arco matter every week or so I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> it's going to take a very, very long time to achieve anything significant, but it's not bad. Oh, shit. Well, that's the end of the gold rush, I'm afraid. It's genuinely all our Arco Matter algae. 200,000 Arco Matter algae used up in the blink of an eye. Yeah, it's fucking gone. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Um, well, that I've converted the cornfield because I thought, you know, we've probably got enough corn at this point. Um, convert that into half Arco Matter algae as well. I need to find the most efficient way to actually make Arco Matter, because this is great. 
Um, but fuck me, it's slow. Especially if we're, we're expected to make that much Ascended Arco matter too. Hmm, hear me out here. We need a ridiculous amount of algae. The one thing we have an abundance of, the biggest resource of all, is, is power. We've got specifically 17 million watts excess. Uh... Hear me out on this one. It might make the game like the shit, but this has been very much a series of uh, no half measures. So what the hell is <laughs> is the downside to it? Why don't we just build a massive fuck off hydroponics one? Like fill this area with it. Use the mechanics of the vanilla expanded sprinklers, which basically just add X amount of growth every time they activate, which is 6am a day, to instantly grow crops, right? Use that in combination with Arco Algae to immediately grow a shitload of it. Um, and I believe, in fact, if we were to use the Archimata soil rather than the hydroponics base, it would be even better still. Um, so essentially, build just a giant greenhouse. Use these dotted around liberally to instantly make them grow. And then convert that into Archimata with the hive, which is essentially instantaneous anyway because we've got the workbenches and the drugs and the bionics and everything. I think that would produce way more Arco matter than this could ever hope to. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, I basically made my mind up before I'd even decided to vocalize any of that. But you know what? Let's see Let's see how this goes. I'd love to build all that Arco matter too, but we are, we're scrounging right now. So we're just going to have to use boring old steel. Um, and rather than making a whole new fresh structure, in fact, rather than using bloody steel reinforced walls either side, let's save as much time as possible here. Let's just go like this. And let's just wall off uh, a section. Got to make sure it's self-contained because, of course, heating it is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass otherwise. Um, let's do something like this. And turn all this section into... Uh, yeah, you know what? We can do that. Turn all of this into a farm. It's going to be huge. But if it works, it's going to be incredible. Uh, we also want to go for all Arco Matter, so this is going to be expensive. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe we'll do it piece by piece then, because we could grow Arco Matter. Let, yeah, let's do it section by section. Start by cordoning some off. Five hours later. <laughs> uh, I've built this. I've built this. I've built this thing. Look upon my work. I've built this thing. Uh, firstly, it's adding a phenomenal amount of lag to the game. Whenever these sprinklers kick in, there's no animation. Oh my god, I thought I missed one then. There's no animation. Um, when the sprinklers kick in, nothing happens. It just suddenly, all the plants grow. I can only assume because it is quite literally far too much for the game to render in a simultaneous. But anyway, they all come on at the same time at 6am. So it's just too much. However, we've hit a point of almost critical mass, whereby we're generating more algae than Ciala can smell at the hive mind. Now, it's not quite perfect. Ciala can still get ahead, just. But you've got to bear in mind, Ciala only works from like 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. or something like that. Uh, the, uh, and, and the algae is generated in bulk right at the start of the day. And then throughout the day, it's topped up as more and more grow. Um, so if we get Ciala here, what, where are you going? Hey, come back. Cannot make Archimata need material. I'm going to have to disagree there, fella. Bear in mind, uh, bear in mind that. Not make Archimata 10 need material. Um, no. No, that's not true, though, is it? That's not true. Oh, Joris is uh, reserved by Joris because he was hungry. Right, there you go. That explains a lot. Um, but you can quite clearly see here that how the, the speed at which it ticks up is staggering. Um, now, it's not quite enough to stay ahead of Ciala's crafting. It's pretty close. Um, right now, it's not, it's not optimal. But... At the start of the day, when you get the big influx, and then the more coming in, it's more or less right. It kind of stops working around 2, um, 3 p.m.-ish. So we're only kind of three hours out of it being a full work day's worth of Arco Matter. But of course, it's generating a staggering amount of Arco Matter. We now have 28 finished Ascended Arco Matter combiners. Still got plenty more to plenty more to build. Bear in mind, each one is 10,000 Arco Matter. So we are quite literally just waiting for this. But you can see... The limiting factor here is actually not the growth rate of the algae. The limiting factor is the speed at which these bloody cultivators can work. Um, what we could do, if we really wanted to help speed things up, is get our people on harvesting. And you know what? I don't think that's a terrible plan. What else would they do? If they can't build, there is nothing else to do. Fuck it. I mean, you can see how many of them are quite clearly not working right now, but I bet if we stop it and unpause it again, 
immediately they're all going to work. And I imagine they're all going to work on the algae farm as well. But that's okay. Hey, that alone might solve Ciala working faster than, um, you know, faster than this stuff is being produced. Really should put on the in-game clock because you can do that, can't you? And then you guys can see quite how long ridiculous shit like this takes. There you are. So it's uh, now currently 28 minutes past 9 p.m. Um, I started recording this episode at 26 minutes past 3. So just before the episode goes live, obviously they go live at 4 p.m. and start recording at half an hour before that because I kind of knew what we had to do today the and then I could obviously work on your feedback um, simultaneously. But I wanted to get all this shit set up preemptively. Didn't expect it to take this long. Otherwise, I'd have started on it basically after finishing recording last episode, to be honest with you. But here we are. Bit, we're actually getting there. An hour and a half later, we've gone from 19... Ascended Arco Matter Combiners to 51 of the damn things. So it, it is working. It's working. It's a slow process. It's taken a little while. Um, seems as if we have dealt with that issue that I bought. Because look, it's, uh, it's, I was about to say, it's 11 p.m. Yeah, real life. Um, it's 8 a.m. And we've just started with 4,000 already ready to go, which is quite nice. Um, good God, there's so many. I might have to put down some more... Some more... Uh, Kind of growers? Oh, well. No, no, no. They are ready to harvest. A lot of them anyway. Central row, not so much. But this one is all ready to go. Yeah, maybe a couple more growers. Couldn't really hurt that much. Especially if you put them on the outside of the wall. Oh, that's big brain. Um, Because that's not going to take up any more room at all, is it? How, how far can we cover with that? The first two rows. Yeah, I might do that. Just just a couple more there. Uh, who? A criminal surgeon. Brother, you have found yourself a new home. He's come armed with beer. <laughs> Did someone ask for some Arcaferium? <laughs> oh, holy shit. Um, so little Ciala may have been, uh, may have been fed some Arcaferium because I decided that having four people working extremely fast is going to be faster than having 20 people or whatever it was working um at medium speed but of course slowing the game down because the game can't keep up with that much shit going on uh you're probably wondering why i can't box over the others they are on ice they are done for there's three spare i was gonna call them coffins then well you never know um so yeah it's really just the it's just the a team uh ice wolf siala dr don hocus uh, Mondo, Ironhead, of course, how could I forget, and the other people, um, yeah, that went, that went pretty nuts, we're currently up to 92 Arco Matter Combiners, it's currently 1.32 a.m., I've been recording this now for, uh, oh, we're officially over the six hour mark, well done everyone, round of applause, oh, the speed at which they can throw these things down now though, holy shit, someone must have reserved that because it's not, um, it seems we've also lost the speed 4 button. I don't know how. Um, yeah, the speed at which they can churn these things out now. That's another that's another couple down. Okay. Now, the one thing I haven't checked, because of course it's been more or less irrelevant to me for the past however long. Um, how much ascended Arcaferium do we have? Because that's the one thing I haven't even bothered checking. We've got 1,440 ascended Arcaferium. Um... What the hell am I going to do with that is the real question. One cannon is 900 for reference. So it's not a case of, wow, we've made so much in this time. This has been a massive slog and we've got enough for a single gun and also that thing. Oh, hello. God, that's fucking gigantic. What the hell is even that? 121? I think I'll probably do for the timing. I've gone ahead and kind of preemptively... Um, December the growing zones and whatnot. Now we can kind of, you know, we've still got the Arcomatter farm generating Arco matter. We've got this ability to generate Arco matter. I want to start work on the ship ultimately. So we've got more than enough ascended Arco matter to start putting down, um, you know, ship hull and crap like that. I've already checked that. Um, 14 ascended Arco matter per, per ship hull. We've got more than enough Arco matter combiners capable of creating that. And we've got 1,814 storage. So we can start planning out the actual ship itself, the ascended ship, uh, and get rid of this just to get back a little bit more frame rate. And to be fair, I assume it counts as a floor, right? So I assume if we dig up the soil, we'll probably get back some 
um, hopefully, of the ingredients that we put into it. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Ah, uh, let's take apart the sprinklers, but not the ceilings, I guess. Oh, balls this is going to be a ball like. Hang on. But the question is, where do we even start? Um, I I like the idea of. What do you think about a hexagon? And then throw a big old barrel down the center. So it doesn't need to be an even number. Um, 34 by 34 looks a bit strange. Um, let's go 34 by... Uh, 34 by 30. It's not massive. You know, it's not gigantic, but it'll do. Um, and then we'll have concentric circles, or in this case, hexagons. Um... So we'll put a another little, kind of similar to the design that we did before with the bridge, right? Let me just mark out a center block so I don't get uh, completely fucked here by misplanning. We're looking at nine and ten. Oh, you fool. Um, I suppose it's necessary, isn't it? Something like that. So this area here, let me just go ahead and remove that. Oops, shit. Uh, let's try something like that. There we go. Right, so this, this bit out here is going to be um, the void of space. Every, everything in here is going to be space void. Um, this is going to be kind of big corridor again. We can we can cut that off into sections, fill it with heat sinks and whatnot. All we need is a little way forward to a bridge. I mean, I'm probably going to run the big old gun through the center again. As we found out previously, you can walk through uh, guns no problem. So why don't we put the spinal capacitor? How big do we want to go with this thing? Um... I don't want to go gigantic this time, you know. I, 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 I was told that having a gun too large has no... Um, or, or kind of has diminishing returns. It's fact against shields, but hull can only take a, a, an amount of damage anyway, right? We saw it last time. Laser would hit a hull piece. It would destroy it instantly, but then it would have to wait before it would retarget the next piece anyway. So, unless you're fighting shields, it's a bit pointless to have, you know, like original Joris where we had... Big old laser from bottom of the map to top of the map. Although it was kind of cool. I'm going to put the spinal capacitor... Fuck it, what do you think? Like right there? Um, that's in the middle, right? Oh, no! That's not even at all. I don't know why I assumed it was... Four blocks. Okay, it doesn't matter massively, because we can just do... Oh, fuck off. Um, <laughs> we can just do something like this. There we go. Right, okay, that makes a bit more sense. So we've dropped you right there. On the fridge. How's that looking? Yeah, there we go. Right, so we'll start the start the laser probably a little bit further back. I'm not entirely sure. Depends on the design that we want. Um, I guess we could... I guess we could pull it back slightly. Um, have a similar design to Joris 1.0. Um, where we kind of opened it up and had a walkway down to the bottom of it. So put it, say, like... Um, put it like there? What do you think about that? I don't think that's going to be too awful. Um, and then swing a corridor around the bottom of it like that. This is all going to be spinal amplifier up through here. Um, now we said that this area was going to be, uh, space, right? This bit right here on, on, on here and obviously on the alternate side as well. Um, so we do something like that. We don't necessarily need it because again, they can walk over the gun, but I think, I think I prefer it like that too. Aesthetically, I think it'll also look pretty decent having it like this. So we'll do something like something like that. Open that up too. So this area right here is is going to be the bridge. That's going to be open space. We could put engines and some shit like that. Um, is that not equal again? How have I balls this up? Four on that side, five on that side. Ooh. Um. <laughs> How was this gone so badly wrong? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's fixable. It's fixable. All right, there we go. Okay, so four blocks that that side and then we've got the the center set what the fuck is going on here oh no um i've 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 broken everything it's horrible okay it's immediately fixed not a problem then all right fine um we'll, we'll start that as our initial design that alone is probably going to cost them a fortune in a set of arco matter to build so we'll let them work on that the actual gun itself is 200 so that's going to be quite detrimental to our ascended arco matter stores as it is Frame rate's nice and consistent. To be fair, we're not running out of speed four, but it looks quite nice now. Four million hit points, right? Uh, yes, it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Well, it's also 5,000 times 800, which makes some sense. What was it with um, regular Arco Matter? Two million. So we're doubling the hit points by using Ascended Arco Matter, which, to be honest, you bloody hope. 
Um, let's open that up there so they can get in and out. Because, of course, this is going to be roofed over in here. What I'll do then, just to really exacerbate that, let's go remove... Oh, balls. Okay. Um, let's go build roof area through this kind of center section. Um, and then we'll do something like that. And then we'll start dividing it up for, for kind of heatsink placement. We want the heat sinks in the center here. Hey, we might end up putting another ring around the outer edge as well. Similar to what we've got coming on right now to provide even more protection from uh, from shots. Oh, look at that. Architect Spinal Capacitor. Here we go. Nice. Um, What do these ones do? Do they offer any bonuses? Increases base damage by 75%. Wow. So your regular Spinal Capacitor is obviously 25% per go there. We are going to need some serious cooling on this thing. Do we unlock any new cooling solutions? Um, as far as I can see, no, it's still the same stuff. We have Ascended Shield Generators, whatever the bloody hell they are. Um, of course, we've got the Arcotech Ascended Reactor. I think that'd be quite cool in the middle of the ship, uh, depending on how we want to do it. But of course, the, the gun's going to be kind of in the way that I guess we could put one either side if you're feeling particularly decadent given they are 2000 ascended archimatter apiece fucking hell okay are we already out are we already out of archimatter what the hell's going on um ascended oh my god we're already out <laughs> no oh come on really well now we play the waiting game and hope that these things uh come through in the clutch again in the meantime it's given us plenty of time for regular archimatter to be generated i can't believe that shit well, there we go. There's the start of the ship. Well done, everyone. Cancelled a lot of the kind of half jobs there as well, because it, it did the kind of traditional Rimworld thing of we'll haul 3,000 Archomatter to this one, and 3,000 Archomatter to this one, and 3,000 Archomatter. Between them all, we've got enough to maybe put down a couple more there. Um, yeah, we've got 15,000 Archomatter apparently just kicking around, so 20 components. Is that really the limiting factor? There we are. Thank you, Ice Wolf. Is anyone going to build this fucking thing? Uh, uh, Ironhead, you want to work on that, friend? There we go. It's better to build them as early as possible, of course, so we can maximize output as soon as possible. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll stick to the regular strategy, that, seeing as that, uh, that worked pretty decently. But I think we're now at... Oh, no, we've got enough for this one, too. Holy shit. Uh, can, we go, can we go one more? Mondo. We got 1,714. It might just be output somewhere else. You know, we might just have something lying around that I haven't taken into account. I might genuinely be it, though. It's probably about as far as we can take it today. Oh, boy. Wowee. This is taking a long time. It's not like the original Joris where we could just go fucking butt wild with it thanks to Rim Factory. This is... This is a slow occasion. So, what I'm going to do is probably just let the base build up. You know, let the, let the Arca matter build up. I'm not using dev mode. I, I don't want to use dev mode. A lot of people said, why did you just use dev mode? That's not the point. I want to. I want to. I want to do it within the confines of the mod pack. That's sort of the whole point. I'm not above sticking it on peaceful while we're doing shit like this because nobody wants to watch us in a space base adventure fight tribal raiders and six flamers. That's that's a waste of time. But dev mode is like obviously you know what's the point in doing any of this shit? It, it's it's about it's about the, the 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 trial and the challenge of getting there uh, in the first place. Legit. Whether that is, in this case, building up the economy or, or doing it with whatever method you see fit. So, I think I'm going to make this episode slightly earlier than I normally would. Uh, bear in mind, hey, it's 20 past 3 a.m. <laughs> Been here for over six hours now. Um, and more importantly, it is just a case of waiting for the Ascended Arco matter to come in. Especially because, as we've seen, like one gun is thousands. So it might not be a bad idea tomorrow when we dive in to throw together a smaller ship. Um, you know, just like a, a smaller Arco shielded ship. Hey, maybe even just finish off these walls and launch this as is. Um, see if we can kill some stuff and maybe get some Ascended Arco matter from some space battles. Even in that time, obviously, this will still give it chance to build upon the planet. So I'm going to go at it from two angles, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll liaise with the... Uh, with with Discord to see if there is any any hints people have got for um you know kind of expediting the the ascended archimatter process. Thank you in the meantime to our executive coffee producers for making this series possible in the first place. All four thousand hours of it. Thank you to Ushanka, Odie, D Money, Alchemia, Slippy Nip, Siltworm, Darkest, Commissar Taj, Milo Eyes, John H, Gogolus, and Paul, Arctic Knight, Silent Sentinel, Aromatic Fool, CJ, Poop Feast 420, Philosophical U Prize, Necrophilon, and Small Snack, along with everyone else at the executive producer tiers over on Coffee. 
for making the channel possible in the first place. A big thank you goes out to those guys. And a thank you as well to Zaka, KQ, the Magic Velociraptor, Trevor Brooks, Sirik Thurum 3, 3, Corrupt Racer, Hazel, KG, Evans, Matteo, Electric, Alice, Karsten, Vuoxka, Telkus, 345, Jack Black Sheep, Eckel, Cakes, Hero Club, Shatulski, and Archbishop for their support as well. Of course, everybody over at Coffee. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for bearing with me. See you all tomorrow for another eight hours of slowly building walls. <laughs> oh.